Hello, I am Popefire, the Starfire God, and welcome to a very, very special um, At the Altar this week, where we, um, this is of course a tribute stream to James, and I have my YouTube turned on at full volume, and that was not fun to hear myself. Um, now we do have a, um, a, a very special panel this week, because this is going to be a very special um, stream. Uh, every artist here has been asked to um, draw something based off of James. James's work, and um, I, I do want to say real quick, because um, we want to keep this, we want to try and stay a little bit more lighthearted. Um, so this week we are going to start off with, um, it is Shawnee Shipman's birthday tomorrow. So if you guys haven't already, um, please head down to her Twitter, uh, give her a follow, and then uh, wish her a happy early birthday, because I think she'll uh, really appreciate that. Now, um, with that being said, Shani won't be on this stream uh, because she will be celebrating her birthday um, tonight with her family, and we respect that. And uh, yeah, so uh, real quick, I want to introduce everybody on my panel. We do, of course, have Adrian, and I believe he is having mic issues, so he is not going to be, be able to talk today. Uh, we do have Thundaro as one of our speakers today, and I'm super happy to have him. He's like my big brother. Uh, we do have Night Pope, who will only be in here for a few more minutes, as I will need to kick her pretty soon. Uh, we have Grimlock. Yeah, hi, Night Pope. I know your fans are really excited to see you. How are you doing uh, today, Grimlock? I am doing okay. I cannot complain. Yet. No, we're waiting on Manny, Adrian. Uh, we do have Matt here. And Matt, you'll have to forgive me. I have a speaking problem, and I am unable to pronounce your last name as well as James's last name. And I do promise you, I tried, I did I did talk to some of my people in my Discord last night trying to pronounce the names, but um, <laughs> my brain does not function correctly when it comes to names for some reason. It's <laughs> I have just a, just a... Just think uh, each, both names, uh, just two syllables. So, Hud, no, and Ka, sin. Hud, Hud. Hud, no. Hud, I'm, I. Or say, Hud, no. I can't speak. I'm so sorry. I, okay. I promise you, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. No, I, I okay. honestly, like, I, I have such a bad speaking issues. Um, I was in a car accident when I was a lot younger, and it caused uh, some minor brain damage that has affected my speaking. <laughs> So you'll have to forgive me for that. Now, um, oh, well, thank you. That makes me, I get really insecure about that. But um, I'm very thankful that you could come on this stream with us. I was actually uh, very nervous to ask because I didn't want to sound disrespectful or, um, you know, try and do anything that was disrespectful. Um, so I'm very happy you're here. And I know that you and uh, James were very close. I know. Yes. Yeah. And I know yeah. that you told me earlier you had some stories that you wanted to share about him and we will uh, let you have um, that time as we uh, get further along in the stream. Now, are you having, uh, are you holding up pretty good? Are you? Um... Um, yeah. Yeah. It was, it's, it's still difficult um, just because like, like I said, it kind of it feels like a lost a family member um, with James. Um, Cause we would, yeah, we're working on the book together. We live in the same city. So we would, you know, meet, have lunch and talk and get to know each other and, He's a really sweet guy and just real genuine and yeah, it's just it was a shock. So, but uh, my brother, my brother and I are both good friends with him. Mike, my brother is the colorist on Agenda, and uh, so it's nice that you know I have him too to kind of we help each other through it. So, yeah, but we well, appreciate if, this uh, tribute. Yeah, well, if you ever you need, um, if if you need anything or his family needs anything. Um, the people at Comics Titans Fundraiser, which it has a lot of people on this panel on it, are always willing to um, reach out and help you when needed. So. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. And yeah, I appreciate you, you guys. Yeah. Um, I, I've never, I've spoken to James a handful of times, but I did not know him personally. But from the conversations I did have with him, he was always such an amazing guy. He was just so charismatic is the word I'm looking for. And I can say that yeah. word. I'm so proud of myself. I was actually nervous about saying that one. <laughs> you nailed it. <laughs> no, yeah. I remember you we were uh, live stream that I did on um, Chester uh, Bosby, right? Is that his, the channel? Yeah, Chester. And, uh, and you came on and you asked us the, uh, the usual question, Starfire or Raven? 
And then, so that, uh, that, that was that our, sounds like me, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was our first introduction. We were like, whoa. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm not sure, but I think he picked Starfire. James. Yes, he, he picked the correct answer, if I remember correctly. I'm going to be honest with you. Every time I'm on Fanspeak, I'm either doing something completely random or I'm playing Overwatch. Um, sometimes, <laughs> if I'm not playing Overwatch, I'm probably putting on my Genji helmet. <laughs> So fans speak to me. I, I like to goof around it, and, uh, and uh, I don't think they always appreciate it. But other times, I think they find it hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I think you have a good uh, understanding of the fans who actually look forward to it. <laughs> yeah, um, real quick, um, keep trusty sidekick in your prayers. Um, he is going through a tough time right now, and he could uh, uh, really appreciate. He would really appreciate you guys um, sending some some love his way. Now, um, we don't have too many artists on here just yet, but we do have, and I have somebody that's not a mod in my chat. I have to fix that real quick. We do have Eric Nino Towski here. Nailed it. And what is? Um, yeah, hi. He actually has a campaign that's ending tomorrow. And I have or Monday, I think. I think it's Monday night. Oh, yes, Monday, Monday night. Yeah. Don't listen to Pope. Pope doesn't always uh, say the right stuff. <laughs> but I do have good. it. Uh, I do have uh, his. He is the second link in the description. Uh, we both we have both Agenda and Eric's Inktober book in there. Um, so if you guys want to support some good content, I can I can vouch for Eric. He's an amazing guy. And he actually does the financial stuff for Comics Titans fundraiser. And he's been very uh, honest and truthful about everything he's done. So he's definitely one of the greatest people to support in comics. So if you guys haven't already, or if you want his book and you can't afford it, um, we do have forms on Comics Titans fundraiser. And you guys can fill out a form there and you can get Agenda and Inktober from, from us. Because we will um, support you guys and help you guys get books in your hands. Now we do have um, James over here, or third, and he's on his phone. <laughs> so I don't think he's here. <laughs> Hi, third. How are you doing? Um, I'm fine. I'm just looking for pictures and stuff. Yeah, and I believe you're doing Lex Luthor. I want cakes. Yes. You want cakes? Yes. <laughs> yes, he is doing uh, Lex Luthor based off of, I believe it's uh, James. It's a, I think it was a counting book that brought it up. Like Lex Luthor stole 40 cakes. Yes, that was, okay, that was actually Shawnee's fault. She brought the, she brought that up that he had stolen. Uh, that I he had brought st it up first. Stole, oh, did you? Somebody, somebody brought it up that he stole 40 cakes. <laughs> like, I, I brought it up like like five or six streams ago, and I was like, and then I'm just keeping it a rolling joke at this point. Okay, we do have um, Jason coming. I should probably, oh, uh, thank you, Yvonne, for posting up some, for, for being in here. Thank you, Joshua, for being my main mod tonight. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, he, he's going to be posting up the links for us and also making sure um, that the chat does stay appropriate. And apparently also says uh, that people need pants. So if you guys are not wearing pants, please put some on ASAP. Darn. I gotta put my pants on? <laughs> Whatever. No, apparently the big joke now is that I do not wear pants when I stream. Um Actually, and this is going to get me a lot of flack, I wear Batgirl pajamas when I stream. Um, so thank you very much. I think it was, was uh, Joseph that came up with that rumor. Mighty interesting selection of clothes for somebody who hates Barbara Gordon. Yeah, that's, that's why I said I was going to get a lot of flack for it. <laughs> yeah, I should cosplay as... Feel like free to troll her. <laughs> Now, um, while we wait for some of our other artists to uh, get in here, um, I am going to ask the panel, have they um, checked out a gender? And, uh, oh, my God, I can't speak tonight. Hold on, give me a second. I got to do some uh, voice things real quick. So what you're saying gender. is it's a normal night. Yeah, it's, it's a normal night for Pope. She can't ever speak. No, apparently people like it when I say rat dare. Apparently I say it too. Right there. <laughs> right over yonder is a 
It's the Texan coming out in her. I'm back, by the way. If you are over there, right over there, there's a Jiminy Cricket. Right over there. Hello, Jiminy. Can you hear me? No, we, we can't hear you at all. No, I don't okay, hear any of you. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to switch my camera in a few minutes. But uh, hello, everyone. Glad to be here. Hello. Hey, hello. Hi. Hey, Matt. How are you? I'm good. Good to seeing you. Good, good, doing good. Yeah, good to see you here. Yeah. Go full Texan tonight. That, that would actually be really bad. Nobody should ever go full Texan. But no, um, have you guys um, read some of uh, James James's work or looked into some of his work? Yeah, I'm somewhat familiar with it. I mean, I, I've, I've gotten a border agenda, um, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm somewhat familiar with his work on like Alpha Flight, and um, I know he worked on Hard Case. So, yeah. um, you know, but I mean, I, I've, I've been learning a lot more about him, you know, since, you know, he's been with uh, Comic Skate. So, oh, no, the, I think the one thing that I, I, I knew most about him was uh, the uh, his Lex Luthor uh, autobiography. I thought that was very good. I love that. Oh, yeah. Right when yeah. it first came out. Yeah, that's a great one. Yeah, so that, that's that's probably the story that I'm most familiar with in terms of that that he wrote. And, uh, very well. Another done. book is uh, the Psycho is a good one. The Psycho, I haven't read that. Okay, that's an the uh, image released a collected graphic novel of it, but it's from DC Comics originally published. Oh, cool. Cool. Very yeah, cool. Dan Brenton did the art, and uh, he did art for Not Cows. Oh, yeah. all right. Oh, very cool. Hey, okay. I'll have to look that. I'll have to look that up as well. Um, yeah. I'm gonna I... zip out and then back in again because I have to change cameras. Okay. Uh, <laughs> all <keep right>. <laughs> I I believe I've read his Alpha Flight. I will be honest with you guys. I have not picked up like I I have um some Marvel books on me right now, but it's because I'm picking them up for booster. I uh, I don't. I haven't read Marvel since I was like fifteen. Yeah, it is time to kick Night Pope. I'm so sorry, my child. I love okay. you, but it's no. You don't have to kick her. To I'm going to drop out anyway. The, the every every Saturday, we let her be on for about ten minutes, <laughs> and it's 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 part of the ritual. It's it's how we know that we'll. It, it's like it's like how we'll know that we'll get a hundred views. You enjoy because your ritual. I have to go. I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> Bye, Dandara. All right. Well, night, Pope. Bye. Bye. <laughs> it's. I don't know who gets more of a satisfaction out of it, you or her. I think we both do. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. All right. All right. Hard to draw. I don't know if you uh, were familiar. Um, also, James. Um, I just found this out when I was get, got to know him, talking with him. But he did um, the English translations of a lot of different manga back in the '90s, early '90s. Did he? Yeah, he worked for Viz. He's one of the, the early employees for Viz Comics. Do you know uh, any particular um, books he did? Yeah, yes, he, he did like uh, Silent Mobius. Um, he translated that one into English. That was a uh, was a like Kia Asamiya comic. Um, Silent Mobius, he did like Pineapple Army. Um, that was um, Naoki Urasawa from uh, 20th Century Boys and Pluto. That he that was one of his early comics. Mm -hmm. He translated that. Um, Maya the Psychic Girl. Maya the Psychic Girl. Um, also, what is the other one he did? I was just looking at um, Genocyber. But uh, but yeah, I, was, I didn't know this, and I, I actually bought these back issues just because I like the art a lot. And I just saw his name on it, and I'm like, James, you did that? It's like, oh yeah. And he was into manga and anime back in the '80s before it you know really was brought over to the U.S. But his friend, uh, one of his best friends, Torin Smith, is the one that introduced. Uh, he created Studio Proteus for Dark Horse Comics, mm -hmm. where they brought it over all via different mangas. That mm. is so cool. Yeah. Yeah, I just found out to talk with him, and I'm like, how did I not know this? <laughs> but he loves manga. He loved manga and anime. He was actually um, going to let us borrow, my girlfriend borrow some uh, anime that we were talking to him uh, the last time cool. I saw him. And, yeah, but he loved it. Yeah. 
I uh, I apparently have really bad taste in anime. Um, I wasn't allowed to watch it growing up. So when I uh -huh. got to college, I really got into Naruto. I, I got into that it at like the last three chapters. <laughs> uh -huh. that, that's good taste in anime though. Um, well, you're, you're, you're not gonna like the other anime I was really into. I uh, was really into fairy tale. Oh, fairy tale, okay. yeah. yeah. Is that the one where he's a little pig? No, with the cat, with the cat, with the blue cat named At Cappy. least it wasn't bleach. Oh, okay. okay. At least it wasn't bleach. Oh, I, I oh. heard it's actually really good. Bleach is pretty good. It just goes on forever. That's the only. I mean, that's the issue with fairy tale. Bleach. So, I mean, I enjoyed fairy tale to be honest. I still enjoy. It. I like watching new mm -hmm. episodes. It's nice. Yeah, I saw. Well, I think it was on yeah. Netflix, right? Yeah, it's I mean, just... it, it was it was a fun series, and I like the fun. I like the fun, happy stuff. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. I do too. <laughs> Don't watch your Yu Haka show then. Oh, we have oh. Um, <laughs> a Yu Yu Haka show. <laughs> <laughs> um, Betrothed is, um, and I, I'm probably saying that completely incorrectly, but he is a really big uh, Starfire YouTuber. So hello there, friend. I'm happy to see more Starfire fans in my chat. I get a little overrun with Ravens. What was his name? Blah, 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 blah. Somebody else read it. I can't read it. I can't read. I'm terrible. I, I promise you, I can say the words in my brain, and then I can't get them to come out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> my oh, Love yeah. Story, a great anime. I, oh, yeah. I don't my watch a lot of anime, actually. <laughs> everybody, everybody tells me that I should watch uh, certain animes, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I'll totally do it, and then I completely forget to. <laughs> I mean, it's just oh, one of those things, like, you can't just be... You can't just like certain animes. You just can't be told to watch. I mean, it's like if you find it, it's good. You go and watch it. It's like okay, it's not up to the hype. You can't just. Sorry about that. Well, uh, somebody lied to me and told me I would be really into uh, Attack on Titan. Um. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I don't do gore very well, so that <laughs> was fun. Oh uh, yeah. It's kind of a weird. I never really got into it. it I never. It always seemed too crazy for me. The whole, you know, giants eating people thing. It was just weird. They turn out to be actual yeah. people. Oh yeah, that, that one was. They, they, they're they're really, of a certain they're real people. From gods, blah blah blah. What's that? Okay, that's even weirder. So I, yeah, I probably won't get into it now. The whole. <laughs> I mean, okay, I'm gonna go into spoilers, and it's vague. Spoilers, but okay. the Titans were created. I mean, they're from a certain uh, group of people, like a race, because mm -hmm. from our earlier right. descendants, were, they're all relate. All came from one lady that had some, something to do with a devil or something like that. Uh -huh. and she was the first Titan. All her offsprings became Titans, and everyone after right. that, they could become a Titan. They're injected with a serum, but they're they don't have any mind anymore. They're just mindless walking eating machines. Right, yeah. And hmm. Attack on Titan takes place actually in an uh, where they're at is actually a I guess it's a continent at this point because it's it's fairly huge. I can't say it's an island. It's but supposed they're to be all future, right? on that continent. I thought it was supposed to be okay. in Germany. Is it it might be in just in Germany too. I don't know. It's 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 a play on uh, it. It really feels like a play on the Holocaust kind of thing. Hmm. Just because if you sit there and you think about it, it's a whole bunch of one race that mm -hmm. are being right. encamped because of what their previous generations did. Okay. Hold on, I just remembered that the person I forgot to send the link to was Jacob. <laughs> He's gonna be so mad. I'm so sorry, Again. Jacob. I'm not saying that's the entire story, but that's like when I was actually into it. That's a lot of what I've seen. Okay. Now, um, real quick, I'm gonna ask all of our artists here, um, yes. what they're drawing. Real, real, blah, blah. I have a cold, <laughs> and that doesn't help with my speaking issues. <laughs> so Excuse Excuses. I'm having, I am having the worst time today. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> I feel like my tongue is bigger than my mouth right now. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like this. 
<laughs> so, um, Jiminy, I'm gonna start with you. Uh, what are you drawing tonight? Jiminy. Oh, 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 she asked me. Okay, sorry. Um, I'm gonna be drawing a ne nemesis. Nemesis? Yeah, uh, the character from Alpha Flight. Uh, she was originally created by uh, John Byrne, but there there were several different versions of her, and uh, Dame Cardinal uh, created, the, I think, the second version of Nemesis. See, I haven't read Alpha Flight. I, I read it um, in a 80s X-Men book, because I had uh, a lot of uh -huh. comic books hand, down to, hand, handed me, handed down to me. Oh my god, I, I hate my voice right now. Um, mm -hmm. and there were a lot of Alpha Flight comics in there, but a lot of them tied back in with the X-Men. And I haven't right. read those. I was like 11 or like 10 or 11. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's been forever. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it's a, it's um, a good series. It's a uh, real good series. Um, so. Before mm -hmm. I forget, though, yeah. um, Matt, yeah. uh, we did the people in this group. We did put um, some of our money together, and we will we will be sending you a uh, trading card from um, Gary Shipman of one of the agenda characters of your choosing. So. Oh, thank you. Thanks, guys. <laughs> That's so thoughtful. Thank you. We uh, we we uh, wanted to sort of help you and, and see if we could cheer you up a little bit. Oh, cool! Thanks. I really appreciate it. No, it's um. But what I do need you to do is I need you to marry a uh, message, marry your. <laughs> oh my god! She needs you to do. So she needs you to have I a relationship. You, I, I need you to marry my message. Oh my god! She needs you to so marry sorry. Gary Shipman. I am so sorry. I need you to message Gary Shipman um, and tell him all your shipping information so he can uh, send you that card once it's finished. Okay, cool. Thanks. Thank you. And um, usually we have Gary's daughter on, daughter on here, but she it, because it is her birthday tomorrow, she's not here tonight. Um, mm -hmm. But we did want to sort of help uh, you and and see if and. And again, I've, I've already reached out to you before and talked to you about this, so I, I don't want to talk about this on stream, but if there's anything yeah. that you do need, we are here and we will help. Now, um, I don't know if Adrian is here. I know his mic isn't working, but I cannot see him drawing anything. So I'm going to go to third, who has... What is Chew Jelly Juice Shop? Town Twister. A tongue. Oh, so you're just trying to mess with me. Yes. I'm drawing <laughs> eyebrows right now, and I'd rather not have my camera on, so... Well, you were just <laughs> trying to be... You were just trying to be mean to me. Chew jelly... Ch oh, I'm, I'm not even gonna... <laughs> I can't say it. I, mean, I, tried, I, I was doing a video the other day, and I had to say it. I had to read it. I'm like, chew jelly juice... Chew jelly ch shop. It's a shop. We're gonna look over the shop. We're gonna leave it here. I'm gone. So since I, I Manny's can't. not here, I guess Third's gonna mess with me tonight and Manny's Manny's uh steps. I don't know Please. where Manny is. Usually Manny mm -hmm. Manny usually uh messages me if he's not gonna hop on. He may be out mm -hmm. with his wife. He could he be how gonna... dare he The great and powerful Pope Fire, how dare he? I know. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna have to troll him so much harder. <laughs> mm. Now um mm -hmm. Eric. Really? I've been trying for quite a while to get you on the stream, and by trying, I mean not very hard. Um, <laughs> no, I do love this. <laughs> hey, look, we were talking about Manny, and there he is. Now, I do love this piece that you were drawing for um, like Candyman. <laughs> for personal reasons, because I think this character is absolutely beautiful, and whoever created that character must be a very intelligent person. Of course. Yes. Wow, must have been satisfactory. Amazing. <laughs> well, this is actually going to be my um. <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry. <coughs> She's getting all choked up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Streams with colds are not fun. Um, but no, this is going to be my new icon for my channel, and I am super excited. Oh, cool. for it. Neat. Mm-hmm. 
And as always, I always commission, I always commission Eric to do all my icons. Cool. <laughs> Oh, God. Consistent. I am so sorry. I I was I, I swear I was doing just fine this morning and then my cold was like nah. She has to play again. <laughs> Please excuse me. I will be right back. I am gonna go get a cough drop. Catch <laughs> two. Right. I have to leave messages. We'll be right back. After these messages. <laughs> <laughs> what she doesn't tell you is yeah. her old nemesis, the toilet, that has come back for revenge. <laughs> What's hilarious is that she could say charismatic, but not Hudnall. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like she was. It sounded like she was trying to hike a ball in football when she was doing it. <laughs> Hudnall. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Uh, Matt, I don't know. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I was just saying. I, I was gonna I just going to add... be fair. I can't. I can't say it either. Oh, <laughs> um, Matt. I don't know if you if, if someone's already asked you. Um, when did you and James first meet? Well, um, I'm trying to think. I can't remember the exact year. Let me see. I'm ask my brother. Mm -hmm. exact year. I am so sorry, guys. I feel very impolite right now. <laughs> Oh, that's all right. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think I met James. It was probably around 2013, maybe 2012. Okay. Um, cool. I met him at, um, uh, there was a, a gallery showing like a party at um, Bat and Lashes Studio in San Diego. Oh. And um, oh, wow. I was new to San Diego. And I thought, you know what? There's mm -hmm. many comic book people there. I'm going to meet, try to meet some people. So I went over there. We kind of, we knew who Bat and Lash was. And I didn't know that mm -hmm. James was like best friends with Batten. And um, and mm -hmm. so we were at this uh, gallery showing. They had like you know crowd. They had hors d'oeuvres and all that. And and uh, yeah. I just went straight to like I went to see his studio. What it looked like his drawing area because I like to see different artist setups. And uh, right. Batten Lash. It was his Batten Lash's art studio. I went into the room and uh, James Holden was standing there, and he was just oh, eating cool. something. And uh, and so I didn't even know who he was. I just started uh -huh. talking to him, talking about comics. Yeah. So. Cool. But yeah, that's that's where it that's kicked neat. off. <laughs> that's great. Yeah, he's he's a, a quiet guy. He kind of avoided the crowd. Mm -hmm. kind of like uh, myself, my brother and I, sometimes we kind of avoid the crowd, even at a party. Right. We kind of yeah. go off the side and find the person who's like off by themselves and we start talking to him. And uh, yeah, and right. he yeah. Uh, yeah. told him I did some comic book work for Humanoids Publishing. And uh, <laughs> he did some work for mm -hmm. them too and i go oh i thought I go, you're an artist and he's like no i just write and then uh my brother came up and mm -hmm. i said oh this is uh he goes uh james hudnall and mike my brother knew exactly who he was he's like you're james hudnall he's like nah. yeah and uh, <laughs> i was kind of embarrassed because i didn't know and uh but i knew his yeah. work i just didn't know the name and uh right there we just became friends you know facebook friends talked and yeah. then uh yeah from there cool. sprang forward that's awesome yeah So, but yeah, how far yeah. how far along did he get on agenda um, um before he passed I, I was only um about halfway through the um through the book you know drawing it out mm -hmm. um yeah it's and uh he gave me um well i'll probably because we're right now we're gonna have to uh, piece together some things because uh, we talked about the story and the direction he wanted mm -hmm. to go and and we would talk right. it over so yeah, there's definitely going to be cool. some things that I'll be adding, you know, to kind mm -hmm. of, you know, to the story. But um, yeah, but he pretty much fleshed it out um, in a direction mm -hmm. that where we want to take it. Some things were left un, uh, unknown, like um, some things I'd ask him and he was mm -hmm. kind of like, I think he was still kind of figuring out. But I think he had an idea. He just didn't want to come right out and say it yet. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> yeah. I, I kind of had a, a gist of what direction he was going, so I kind of added my own to it. But we'll see, uh, cool. see how it goes. We're going to mm -hmm. push to get this first book done. Mm -hmm. um, there's some issues uh, regarding, you know, Indiegogo and and stuff. Right. You know, I mean, he was he was handling pretty much everything um, mm -hmm. on the Indiegogo campaign. So I just got to get that squared away. And, yeah, yeah. just some things, some issues. Mm -hmm. But uh, talking to the yeah. family, um, it's kind of like – 
tricky too because like I felt close to James, but you know, when you're dealing with family, I, I want to be respectful too and not um, of course. be too intrusive and fuck badges right. too much, you know. So yeah. Right. So it's a little tricky in that regard, but but uh, we're my brother and I were actually uh, last night just going over the story and and um, mm-hmm. going over some things. I'm gonna actually redraw some pages um, that I've already mm-hmm. drawn out, and kind of uh, yeah, you know, make we want it to be. His, it's his last book, so we want to make sure it's really good and something that's yeah. you know worthy of uh, people seeing and having his name on it. Yeah. Obviously, I mean, yeah, that's true. Um, yeah. yeah. Well, you know, the, the, fan, the fans are, are more than willing to uh, wait. So, you know, don't worry about that. <laughs> yeah, fans are great. I mean, man, yeah, the people have been yeah. really having an outpouring of love and respect and just condolences for pouring in through, you know, social media and people I've never, yeah. you know, met or heard of and and some big name mm-hmm. guys too. And um, yeah, it's really cool. nice to see, you know. Mm-hmm. But yeah, James, yeah. I mean, he, he uh, started, he helped start a lot of careers. Um, a lot of people don't know, you know, um, a lot of big right. name guys you're working today actually started because he kind of, he's one, that's the kind of guy he was like when I met him, he, he didn't, he wasn't snobby. He was like, if you're an up and coming guy, you had passion mm-hmm. and you saw your work and you thought something, he would talk to you and try to help you get work. You know yeah. I mean? That's the kind of guy he was. I mean, I, I'm also a writer. I write scripts and um, he was like, right. When I was telling him mm-hmm. my script I was writing, he's like, Hey, I'll show it to my agent, you know? And he was just helpful, like mm-hmm. right cool. off the bat, always like that with people. And um, like one of the guys he right. he uh, helped, um, and he knew him right off the bat when he was really young was um, um Adam Warren. And um, oh yes, yes, yeah, dirty um, pair. He, he was yeah, yeah. He was cr- he was crashing on James's couch when he was like twenty, and uh, James was like, you wow. know, take them, show them the con, show them different editors and stuff. And um, mm-hmm. yeah. just guys like that, it's just like man. Uh, Greg uh, Greg Horn is another one, oh, wow. a cover artist. Yeah. Oh, wow. You know him when he was just a wow. young, like, 19, 20-year-old guy, whatever it was. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. And it's cool that you and your brother are working on this book together. So, that's uh. Oh, yeah. That's neat. It just, man, it was so, it just uh, really it was like a dream, dream mm-hmm. project for me because i'm here i'm working with james Hudson, who i actually i really respect a lot as a professional and i actually like him as a person and uh, right yeah and we got along so well so it was like everything was just great and then i just woke up and found out the news and i'm just like what mm-hmm. like i didn't believe it at first I thought it was some joke or you know, practical joke or something i mean yeah it was, it was just so un- yeah. surreal because i was emailing him pages and um mm-hmm. he didn't reply back to me which he usually replied like yeah. in like 15, 20 minutes. He was like really quick on that. And um, yeah. he didn't reply back. So I thought, oh, maybe he's, you know, busy. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I thought I, I sent another email, still no reply, sent some pages. And I go, you know, something doesn't seem right. And then that's when I uh, I checked the Facebook and saw that. Yeah. I was like, oh, man. Yeah. But yeah. But yeah, he's, he was, uh, yeah, it was great to work with him. Like I said, I, I, every time we sit down and talk, we would talk politics and we would talk comics <laughs> and stories and, yeah. and just everything movies. And, uh, yeah. he was like, not, a, he was not like, um, he was soft spoken, but he was not afraid to give you his opinion. He wasn't yeah. like worried about what people would think either. He was just, uh-huh. he was just straight up honest. And if people, some people get mad at him, so people would have <laughs> a falling out with him. but he just, he uh-huh. was trying to be, he wasn't trying to be malicious. He was just honest, you know? Right. Yeah. Mm. That's great. But, but yeah. And he was a funny guy too. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> but yeah, the story, man, we were so excited about the story and uh, the, the direction he was going with it and and uh, hmm. the characters I was designing. He was he really gave me free reign on the way the book oh. would look, you know. He just said, That's Whatever cool. you want to do and I'm like, okay. so I'm like Yeah. <laughs> that was a first for me too. That was a first yeah. because usually people want to tell you how to draw, like in comics. At least when right. you're coming they're like, they yeah. want you to draw less cartoony, more realistic or whatever, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So this is your natural style, the style that we're seeing in Agenda. That's that's the style you're more inclined to be doing. Yeah. My, it's, I wanted to do like, um, I wanted to do more of a manga because my influence is like European comics and manga, Japanese comics. And uh, right. I yeah. wanted to always do that, incorporate that to my work. And every publisher, every editor was like, don't do that. Like, you know, don't because they started seeing the style coming through, and they said, "Don't do that. Stay away from that." 
And it's like, oh, wow. they don't That's want huh. that in the comics, American comics, yeah. Which is really mm. odd, because I've seen it work for certain comics. I mean, yeah, uh, yeah. and I know I always have to mention Starfire, but the Teen Titans Go comics from 2003 were actually selling better than the actual Titans comics. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, yeah. So that, that style that can't fun, work in comics. Actually, it probably can work a little bit better than the, uh, and, and excuse my terms here, but the SJW style that seems overplayed right now where where every character seems just really lazy, you know? Because at yeah. least with the more mm. anime style, they, they do still have those details. With the SJW style, it's it's lazy. It's bad. Yeah, mm. no, yeah. Lazy is being really generous. Yeah, it's being generous. Yeah. I mean, it's, I mean, at this, at this point, I would look forward to a book done by Booster and MS Paint as a monthly series. Then <laughs> Don't Where give the man Booster? ideas, please. I haven't to him at all today. Don't give the man ideas. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, it's it's true. It's like a lot of the, the SJW textile, as you call it, is like it seems like a lot of it is drawing people look really bland, right? I mean, right. It's like um, they, they're just like you know, they're never. Like the men aren't really like you know chiseled and buff or really power, extreme mm. dynamic looking. The women aren't that glamorous looking. It's just kind of like you know the everything's mediocre and, looking. And, like that's the safe way to be, you know. Yeah, yeah andro- androgynous. <laughs> so there's nothing yeah, that stands yeah. out. Nothing that makes a character feel actually unique. Yeah. I guess. Now, um, and and I'm just gonna say this real quick. I have some pretty high standards when it comes to comic arts because my first comic was Judas Contract. That's Perez right oh, there. I yeah. have high standards. <laughs> so, um, I don't like to see these. I mean, one of the reasons why I dropped X Men, other than just the pure disrespect they had for the characters, was because the art seemed to be getting lazier and lazier, and I didn't like that. Mm. Yeah. 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 That's the, that's what it's like. That's the best way to describe it. Lazy. It just looks lazy. The characters look lazy, but yeah, the style looks like it's there's no ambition in it. It's just kind of like whatever. Yeah. yeah. Now I do have to ask they you. Don't care. Yeah. It reminds me. It reminds me of uh, that that quote from The Incredibles. You know, it's, it's sort of like if everybody's super than nobody is. It's like they, they. It's like they try to make everyone mediocre, so that no one stands yeah. out as 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 yeah. being sort of you know su- superhero comics are about you know sort of elevating you know standards. You know, this is what we should aspire to be, and it seems like the so-called SJW comics don't want you to aspire to be better than you are. They want you to it's, think that, you know, eh, just being mediocre is fine. Well, you know, you don't have to... It's communism with colors. Is what <laughs> well, that's because... <laughs> that's absurd. No, because com- comics is about elites. Even the non-powered, non-superpowered heroes, like mm-hmm. Batman right. is an elite physical specimen. Right. Well, they don't. They don't like yeah. that people. Because believe it or not, people can be very in shape. Yeah, it does look a little odd when some characters seem to be missing organs. But for the most part, <laughs> um, most of most comic book art it, uh, and how it is, it does have a tint of reality to it. Like the characters are in shape because they're superheroes. <laughs> they have to be. Um, I, I, I'm gonna let y'all finish, but I definitely got a hot take on this. I know what ground zero this shit really started happening, and hey, that is crazy, oh, excuse me, the shiz started happening. Mad Fractions Hawkeye. <laughs> <laughs> it's I I actually did find that to be a fun series at the time, but man, is that the comment where all this stuff started? You know, mm. I could forgive I I could forgive that. What I can't forgive him for is unleashing Kelly Sudaconic on the world. Mm-hmm. Oh man! Oh yeah, that woman. She is, she is multiple four little words. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, but um, they say that uh, the physique that superheroes have is not possible, and Crap. what I call BS on that. Because have, have they have they not seen pictures of cosplay? People can, people do have in shaped bodies. I mean, yeah. look at Jacob. Jacob's <laughs> like buff as we'll get out. And he's a comic book no, fan. No, have, have they not seen pictures of DK Metcalf? <laughs> I hear Booster's pretty ripped. Wow. <laughs> Booster. <laughs> yes, Booster is in so much shape that he's actually losing his hair because of it. 
That was uncalled for. <laughs> Yeah, so that's that's, that's no. kind of mean. That's kind of right. <laughs> like you're the Kiwi One Punch Man. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> She's <laughs> always. Well, I, I have to be. I have to be careful when I stand too close to Booster because I am taller than him. So sometimes, if the sun and she's also is immensely dead. sexually attracted to me. It's unbelievable. I can't oh, get her but... off me as soon as she's near me. But if the sun hits his head at the right angle, I, I swear it blinds me. <laughs> so I have to, I have to stay pretty far away from it. Mm -hmm. What, what blinds you? Countries. His greasy bod? <laughs> <laughs> and my oh. unbelievable good looks. Your unbelievable mm. good looks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That that's, shining that's, smile. That's why. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's because you're mm -hmm. extremely handsome. His blinding smile. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, but, uh, I'm bald, so I could definitely put off some shine. My yeah, man. no, okay, <laughs> guys. My globe. My there's, there's two reasons you should support Eric's book. One, Eric is a great guy, and he deserves all the supports and love. And two, if he hits his goal, he has to shave off that, that goatee or whatever it is, whatever that's called. His little soul patch. My soul patch. Soul patch. That's and also, he needs to help. He, we need to help him afford some hair regrowth products. Yes. And also, uh, he's got to get me some as well. <laughs> uh, part of the money that he's getting from his Indiegogo is going to go into um, hair care products. So yeah. He can have mm -hmm. hair. That's right. Oh, that's um, they're, they're not cheap. Okay. They're not. Yeah. Cheap. yeah. He also has children. So <laughs> if you guys want to help, and him, they need hair care products too, guys. Do. Absolutely, okay. because they are screwed genetically. You have to start young. <laughs> it's brutal. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> Might just yeah. go for hair plugs right now for him. We'll see. <laughs> you know what? If we can get Eric three more backers tonight, I will take my hat off on a stream. We'll we'll do that. We'll if finally we see the bald spot. Yeah, you can finally because yeah, <laughs> I'm totally bald. No, um, oh, you got a bald spot to oh, match man. mine. Oh. Oh, so honey. Thank you, big up for that <laughs> rumor as well. But no, if we can get him three more backers, and you can actually uh, buy his, you can even just donate a dollar. Um, if we can get him three more backers, I will take my hat off on a stream and prove to the world that I am not bald. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why people think I'm bald. The hat is a <laughs> okay. So the reason I wear the hat is because these heads, this headset is extremely painful. And the hat keeps the headset off of my head. Mm. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> She's bald. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess we'll never find out unless we get Eric those backers, won't we? <laughs> Adrian, what have you got going there, bro? You got a good one coming along. Who? Who? Are you talking to me, Booster? Oh, I was talking to Adrian, but yours is good too. <laughs> Thanks, yours is, man. Yours is very good. <laughs> hmm. I uh, I figured I won't draw anything though because you know this is a tribute stream, so uh, I think it'd be disrespectful if I drew anything. It, it probably would be. Mm -hmm. Um. Ooh, Adrian. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, Adrian's doing very well today. Which character is that? Oh, I can't hear him. Yeah, his mic is not working today. Um, so we'll have to keep an eye out for the chat. So Eric is now two backers away. Oh, God. It's uh, going to actually happen. Oh, cool. Great. <laughs> uh, yes. Take off. Off. Yeah, take it off. Yeah, take it off. Might as well just take it off now. You gotta take it off. Eventually. I'm a. I'm That's right. I, I, okay. I'm not a redhead. Um, I don't know why you guys think I am. I have brown hair. <laughs> I don't know why. That's take pretty. It all I off. I, I'm as much as I love Starfire. I don't love her enough to to ruin my hair and dye my hair for her. So I don't mm. have red hair. Not a true fan. Not a true, not fan. A true fan. Exactly. The poser. Poser. Um, Adrian is drawing. <coughs> excuse me. These uh, mit, these coughing things are not working. Uh, machine ma, ma, machine queen. 
I, he thinks I'm talking, taking the character from a cover of Agenda. Has Manny said anything yet? No, actually, I muted Manny the moment he came in um, because <laughs> I was to bully him. Manny's here? I can... Yes, Manny. Manny's Manny. Manny, say something. He's an old man. He's, I never muted him. <laughs> I never muted Manny. Huh. Hi, Manny. Okay. Hey, Manny. <laughs> you gave us the silent treatment. I think he's mad at us. We're sorry. Yeah. We're sorry, Manny. I'm, I'm not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sorry at all. Mm -mm -mm. Manny probably deserves it. He, he probably so forgot how, how all this works. Because if you guys don't know, Manny is actually like 84 now. Like, what, didn't you oh turn boy. 84 like last week? Oh my gosh. So mean. <laughs> no wonder he's not talking. I wouldn't talk to you either. <laughs> Young whippersnappers. <laughs> what does this uh, Manny saying? I love the panel, but not Booster? What does this mean? I know. I'm the one being mean. I'm to pretty you. sure it means what it says, Booster. Well, where's my love? I don't know. I'm not here to answer that question. Or any questions. Well, I'm kind of bummed out. So, a kiwi versus a dog. Who who are you putting your money on? Well, uh, dog. a dog because was... dogs are vicious and kiwis are really useless and can't protect themselves. <laughs> you know what? I would, so, I would you're saying you're screwed. Kiwi. I would yeah. put my money on a kiwi. Oh my lord! You know I why? Have a book that. Why? If you, if, if you ever watch the Warner Brothers cartoons, the birds always beat the the canines. Roadrunner, um, the uh, what's that? What's his name? Uh, Fog Foghorn Leghorn. The right. birds always win. I don't know how many times you know he, he, he has a point. Leghorn get over the dog. I've seen the dog get him in at the end of the show sometimes. Sometimes. Can I just can I say something really quick? No, you can't. Yeah. Matt, <laughs> I love that hat. I know it's not finished, but I'm already in love with it. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Yeah, this is the uh, what James character of the psycho. The psycho. Ah. It, it's cool. the psycho. Basically, like it's a character. He's supposed to be a CIA agent who is hired mm -hmm. to watch over uh, certain care. Uh, not superheroes, but people with super powers and they call them psychos because one of them was a flying mm -hmm. uh, super powered guy who tried to kill the president on Air Force One. Oh wow. So so they call the people with super powers psychos and he's assigned to to like monitor them, but then he has to actually start kind of turning against his agency because they try to kill him and he becomes the psycho mm -hmm. and starts uh yeah change change it flips. So but yeah it's I just bought the actual uh graphic novel series so I got to read through it, but yeah, it's pretty cool. The mm. character is really nice. unique looking. That sounds so cool. And and what is this from again? Uh, the Psycho. The Psycho. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Let me see if like, I can find a link for that. Like the Psycho. That's the whole title. The Psycho. You think it was put out by DC movies. Comics? Yeah, DC initially yeah put it out. Okay. And then, but. Image Comics released it as collected uh, form, I think, later on. Ah, um, okay. So, so uh, funny right. story. Uh, when I typed that in, I got pictures of Donna Troy. <laughs> 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 so um, I don't know what to make of that. <laughs> but make sure you when you write type in the psycho, put James Hudnall's name because. Gotcha. Yeah, it'll come up with the movie, the psycho, you know, <clears throat> psycho from mm. Norman and. Oh. Yeah, Norm Bates. Yeah. Yeah, if you guys want a copy of that, I found it on. I, I believe this is from his Amazon account. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. He also has like books, like he wrote on writing. Um, the Secrets of Writing was one that, um, definitely on Amazon. That's a good one. Mhm. Mm Those uh, Secrets of Writing, like the video, videos he was doing on YouTube, was like a little supplement from the the book, little bits from it. Nice. Mm -hmm. Adrian says that's an excellent book. Yeah, Adrian has read pretty much everything. Cool, cool. <laughs> yeah, uh, the, I guess the there is a movie adaption of the Psycho. Actually, it was in the works um, at the time. It was Brian Singer, I think, was like going to direct it. So, Ooh. But, oh, I'm not okay. sure. 
Yeah. Well, I guess, guess, guess James dodged a bullet there. So. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you know it is in Hollywood, man. People like, like I did one book for Humanoids that was supposed to be made into a film, and it was going to be um, Brett Ratner who was going to direct it. Oh um, wow! Hmm. No, done. And, now uh, what? Yeah, for some uh, Brett I, Ratner. I mean, I'm, did, uh, I. I go ahead. What what happened with him? I remember something. There was some sort of scandal, and. Yeah. I can't remember what it was now. <laughs> he said something like he was going to host the Oscars or something, right? And then he said something that offended people. Um, yeah, something happened. Um, and it was, it was years ago. Him. Yeah. I can't remember. I mean, because, I don't know, they're always doing something or, and then and then everyone gets, gets outraged and then six months later, it's like, you know, it's old news and you forget all about it. Yeah. Well, even comedians will say that they that what's going to end up offending people is jokes they've already made decades ago. Right. Yeah. 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 Oh, Santa hmm. Raven is in the chat. Hi, Santa Raven. Oh, and Lorenzo. Uh, Lorenzo, if I have room, I will definitely send you the link because I feel like you would really like to uh, enjoy being on this panel. Oh Lord! Hey, Lorenzo's a good guy. I know that he'll he'll follow the rules because he's a he's a nice guy. Are you sure about that? Possibly. <laughs> he's never been disrespectful to me. He may have been disrespectful to you, but that's because you're. Gee, who was disrespectful to me last night? Oh, there he is. In, good in my defense. In my defense. <laughs> if anybody wants to, have you some should call. not have invited me. In the first place. Yeah, that was your first mistake. <laughs> oh Lord. Second, what did you, what did you do to Paul Manny? Um, yeah. I joined the stream and got mad at him for removing Thundaro as a moderator. <sighs> but I had also just got done with my Friday streams. Um, oh, which she, are... was <laughs> she was posted. She was posted. Um, <laughs> she was posted. So, uh, drunk Pope Fire should never be taken seriously. And uh, I know, I know that I uh, may have spammed Booster uh, with mm. messages as well as spamming Thundaro. Um, mm. And I have apologized <laughs> greatly for that. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah. of course, I always spam Pope Raven as mm. well. Every time I, I just need when I do Friday streams, I just need to like lock my phone up <laughs> and make yeah. sure I, I like change my password and everything. Because I, oh I, I, I think Booster should do a dramatic reading of Pope Fire's drunk texts. Oh no! Okay, <laughs> Ooh, if, you think, if, you think I'm bad, if you think I'm bad at spelling regularly. <laughs> <laughs> my my drunk texting is absolutely awful. All right, we have hi Higgs James James Hizubuf Jimzuma love me. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna mute you. So I'm mean. Gonna mute you. Okay, there we go. <laughs> yes, um, thank you for that. That's uh very embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, no, no, you really gotta watch out for your autocorrect sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> very, very, yeah, uh, very. Thank you, thank you, James. <laughs> my apologies. My, 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 my. Oh. No, you. Uh, it was. It was bad. She, did, she didn't even. She didn't even. She didn't even try to make an excuse saying that it was her an attempt at tamarind. Yeah. No, it was. It, I'm. I'm just uh, really bad at drunk texting because oh, my, my spelling can... already is terrible. <laughs> Booster can read the messages she sends me, says Santa Raven. Should we do that? No. no. <laughs> How do you talk about number at this point? No, you should. The, I think the ones I sent Thundaro were the funniest, to be honest. Because I, I, I tried to read them earlier when I was, because I didn't know I had messaged him until he told me earlier today. And I was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Okay, so we are at our halfway point. So I am going to show off all of the uh, progress that our artists have done so far. And of course, because it is the at the altar, we will start with Adrian. Now, Adrian cannot speak, but um, he is doing, oh, Jesus. I can't pronounce it. Maybe scroll up. Uh, Machine Queen from uh, Agenda. Is that, is that one Machine Queen? 
I thought it was atomic something. I was just looking up the um oh, yeah. Indiegogo page. I, I was just reading what Adrian put. Yeah, it's machine okay. queen, right? Oh my apologies. Now I will there it goes. Oh that's uh yeah. I think that's the vortex, I think. Vortex. Yeah. I like oh. the visor. I love the character designs for these, by the way. Yeah, they're oh, cool thanks. as hell. Thanks. Oh, you designed them. Oh, oh good, good yeah. work. Yeah. <laughs> <Thank> you. <laughs> Booster, please refrain from cursing. Did I, did I curse? Yes. yes. Um, can I ask you, because I I have not, like, I backed the book, but I haven't read the description. The character, uh, he's with the snake on his face. What is his name? Because I love his design. He is my absolute favorite. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, um, well, he was initially called Rebel. James changed his name to The Insurgent. The insurgent. And the insurgent. <gasps> yeah. And basically, he's like, a, he's like, um, kind of like a hacker. He's actually, uh, he's he's uh, into exposing like uh, the corruption in government and media. Mm. And uh, he's got some super uh, hacking skills and connections. And he's uh, a wanted man. And he will be throughout in the story. Yes, I I do think that. Uh... He is very wanted. Now, under that mask, is he a handsome man? Uh, some might say. <laughs> some <laughs> say yeah, we, don't, we don't want him to be mediocre, so he'll say yeah. <laughs> no, he looks like he reaction. would be a very, very handsome man. <laughs> Una <laughs> unacceptable. Unacceptable. He has to be mediocre. I demand yeah, mediocre. Seriously. No, I want. I believe that he is the most handsome of boys because he looks like he's he's got a good taste in in uh, clothing. He looks like he's got a cool mask, and he looks like he's probably got a, a head full of hair on, on under there. Uh, something yeah, it looks that looks like Steve and Jimmy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now um, we will go to Manny. Hi, Manny. Are you actually going to talk to me now? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, panel. So many. No, hey, man. You were mean to me last night. I was not mean to you. I, I remember you being mean to me. I don't remember anything else but you being mean. The funniest so, part is you apologizing to me this morning. I'm like, what are you apologizing for? Like, seriously? You sounded very mad when I rewatched the stream. I was like, oh, dude, he's dude, I'm like one of the best streams I had in a long time. It was fun. I don't know what, you, what I don't know. I guess you were drinking a lot that you didn't even know what the hell was going on. It was fun. I I remember last night, um, because I, I hopped on your stream. I don't know why I thought it was a good idea. I just remember Pringles and then everything started to feel really heavy. Dude, you, you got this Pringle channel. You you showed the Pringle cannon and all of a sudden you're gone. You're done. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm so sorry for that. If you guys want to see a drunk no, Hope but uh, your piece, your piece. Um, yes. No, uh, what inspired you to pick this character? Because I Google searched and this is what came up and it said Matt Cawson. So I'm like, I guess that's what I'm going to have to draw tonight. <laughs> I'm assuming it. this is Machine Queen, Matt. <laughs> yes, yeah, Machine Queen. <coughs> Excuse me, uh, give Which me a second. Cool. And how are you doing, Matt? Haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, yeah, doing good. Yeah, all things considered. Doing good. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's, I miss uh, going on your stream. Uh, I got to jump on there. Yeah, don't worry about it. You, you're busy. When, when you're not busy, you can jump on. I mean, it's yeah, open to anybody. Fun. Yeah. Anybody can. It's anybody like this one, easy channel. going, laid back. Yeah, and you don't, you don't get... Uh, you don't get teased on my panel, not like some other person's show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that just means she loves you as all. Yeah, I know. You know what this character needs, Manny? What? Pants. Oh my lord, she did not need <laughs> pants. What about a hood? You do yes, not need pants. You see this? Well, this this is what it's supposed to look like. Don't give me that. Pants. Okay, your wife thought it was very adorable that I gave Skunk Girl pants. Yeah, well, oh she was god. just being nice to you. That's all. I was right. trying to be respectful. You, this being is so respectful weird. By changing my character. Okay. <laughs> it's inappropriate to send a married man a picture of a of a half on, boy, they were on this again. What, what is uh, what, uh, what is wrong with you? You are literally the only person who thinks this. 
It's it just doesn't feel appropriate. I don't want to like I just want it to oh be my. light, but also appropriate. I don't I didn't feel comfortable sending him a half naked character. Come on, be the first. You're gonna draw <laughs> Amish superheroes. This, this, this is her. <laughs> This is her logic panel. She's afraid to give me my character that I created. <laughs> that his wife has seen I don't know how many times. Who's my wife was there when I created her and I showed her the pictures. <laughs> why, don't you, oh, why don't you give him a version of Skunko and a Burka next? That'll be real. <laughs> I just wanted to be appropriate. I didn't want to be inappropriate. And yeah, I no, that's good. I, I think the meme from uh, Jacob was the funniest. Yeah, where he, he just covers her completely. <laughs> where he took Mighty Geek's uh, drawing of Skunk Girl and he put pa- sweatpants on it. I think that was funny. <laughs> and whoever did that skunk with pants on, that was kind of funny too. That was me. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> where I did that with a skunk wear pants like this or like this. Right, right. That was just. I thought that would be the best way to mess with you. Oh, man. And you you go in how to trigger man and you put a dead who put the dead up a picture of pants. You want to trigger man you just, just show him a picture of pants. What was that? <laughs> but if you notice, I don't even buy like I don't even commission pieces of Starfire unless she's fully clothed. Oh Lord. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, she's I, pretty scantily clad. Yeah, so mm-hmm. if you guys haven't noticed, I do like to keep things pretty appropriate. <laughs> except this stream, right? Yes, except, mm. well, Fridays are my inappropriate streams where I get drunk. Uh, but, um, yeah, you're funny. You know, you're funny. I'm funny. No, I, okay, so the whole reason I even did the... Because I thought... That the alcohol would help with the cold, and it did because the hangover made the cold headache not feel as bad. And then it was like as soon as the hangover headache was over, the cold headache was back. So it's like I can't win for losing. But in my defense, um, I don't drink very often, and I don't know a lot about drinking. Um, and I'm sort of also an idiot when yeah, it she comes doesn't to- do it right. Yes, yeah. I do. Right. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, James or third. What did you? I am so confused here. Mm. Uh, that... <laughs> Does he have a beard? Maybe I don't know. So he's still forty capes. No, see, this looks good. I like this. What, what did you do with the other? Pizza? I thought I'd make it mediocre. <laughs> er. I gotta put the er er there. <laughs> Did you, you tried to add color and it didn't work out? Did I it? Can add color if I want to, but I, I can't. I'm, I'm horrible. I'm mediocre. Well, I think your Lex Luthor looks really good uh, in black. Mediocre. And if you guys don't know, he's actually making a callback um, to an earlier stream, earlier uh, in, I think, March, where we stayed on Lex Luthor f- having stole 40 cakes for, like, an hour and a half. <laughs> I thought that yeah. was Voldemort. Yes. <laughs> you thought that was Voldemort? Oh god, Booster, you're awful. <laughs> Alright, we are going to move to like Jiminy. Ooh. Hello there, Jiminy. That's a beautiful piece. Oh, thanks. One moment. Uh, yeah. It's a cool character. She has a, she has a blade here that's like a, like a nano meter thick. And so, or a few few uh, molecules thick, so she can slice through anything. That is so cool. No, that what's this character's cool. name? I'm sorry. What is this character's name? Nemesis. Nemesis. You told me that earlier. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, she, she's from Alpha Flight, and uh, James James Hudnall created the uh, the second version of her. Oh. Cool. That is yeah. so uh, bad. Curse words like that is so cool. Oh, good. Glad you like it. Okay, sorry. I, I need to stop uh, admiring it. Um, Matt. Oh, hello. That hair. Now, does this character have a ponytail? Yes. I take, the back the I, like the hair. I take back that I like the hair comment. 
<laughs> okay, okay. At least it's not a rat tail, okay? A rat tail is a lot worse than a ponytail. What's a rat tail? It's like a, pon- a rat ponytail, tail? but it's short. And he has a yeah. normal oh. short haircut with it. Oh, I, thought I forgot how young ponytail is. Yeah. I thought it would just be like a really thin ponytail, like Nightmare had in the 90s. No. Yeah, back in like the like... 90s, yeah. There's a rat tail. <laughs> yeah, red tails are pretty like, gross. Long, yeah, little lock of hair that's like long, everything's short except the one little lock. Of hair. It's like when you get a buzz cut and then they just decide to leave one long strand there, and it's like, yeah. no, <laughs> it's fashion. No, it's laziness. Cut it. <laughs> <laughs> She's getting. It tends to be all matted and unwashed as well. Oh, gross. Why is it? Why has this become gross? Starfire out. I don't like hair. Um, oh, like that's hard to do. Like, oh I, no, no, that's no, not, not hard. I'm not to saying do. that. I don't, it's just like. Is it's that just, why they think you're bald underneath the hat? That's you're why I'm like bald underneath the hat. No, I like my hair. I don't like <laughs> other people's hair. I don't want to touch other people's hair. I don't like touching like other people's stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I do love this piece. Now, what is it's the 90s style? Food? Food? The 90s uh, style of hair with the bangs hanging over. Mm-hmm. I like the bangs. I, I'm not a big fan of ponytails. I don't I don't like ponytails on guys. Now, that mostly comes from 90s nightwing. Mm. So yeah, cool. You remember the 90s uh, Superman hit him over? Uh. I hated I that. I hated right. that long hair on him. Yeah. I was like, it's Superman. Superman does not have long hair. It's just, Superman no. Okay, so this may be an yeah. unpopular... They were trying to make him more macho. Yeah. It didn't um, work. It didn't work. But but, but he, he needed a low-cut uni and some chest hair. That's what he really needed. <laughs> he needed a Chuck Norris beard where it just has a fist underneath. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been cool. <laughs> Booster, you're not sending me nudes. <laughs> um, okay, so this may be an unpopular opinion, but I thought the 90s had some of the ugliest art. <laughs> because even, it did. Even the colors on it looked really dingy. Like, am yeah, I- that, there's, a re- there's a reason why. Why was It's because... Uh, the colors were, were crummy tonight because it, it was when computer coloring first came into vogue and half the people didn't know what they were doing. So they were, they were putting out comic books. I, I worked on a comic book back in the 90s. I'm, 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 not, not to age myself. But, um, and the, the art was really, really good. I saw the finished colored piece. You can't tell what's going on because the, 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 oh, all yeah. the colors were so... They were so muddied up because the colorist didn't know how to mix colors. I assume didn't know how to convert RGB to CMYK. And it was just a mess. It was a complete ugly mess. So I, I would say that's the main reason why uh, 90. Go ahead. Yeah, it was like, it's true. It's some of those characters. They would, I mean, the artists, the colorists weren't really artists per se. I mean, some were, but. But they would make the colors way too dark, or they would yeah. over render, where they would try to make highlights on everything. Like everything looked metallic almost. And then that's right. like, yeah. you know, the really bad ones. But sometimes there were some good ones, and some guys who would, you know, they got away with just doing flats. Um, but mm-hmm. but yeah, when this when the computer coloring kicked off, um, I remember I bought a page from uh, 100 Bullets. It was from uh, the yeah. original colorist. Yeah, and yeah. What they'd do is they'd hire a colorist to do like a. Uh, page in watercolor and then they would hand mm-hmm. it off to the computer guy and the computer guy would mimic it with computer oh effects. no yeah Sheesh. so so the, but sometimes the way they did that it would work out better because at least they would stick to the actual artist who knew what he was doing you know uh-huh yeah um, hmm. but the original watercolor one looked cool by itself so hmm. you learn something new every day so how did they color it before that they just used oh, uh, like go ahead go ahead I was gonna say they they use Dr. Phil Dr. Uh, Phil Martin's uh, like dyes. They yeah. use dyes to to color uh, color comics, and they were usually mainly flats. They're just flat colors, so yeah. Yeah. It, you didn't worry really worry about like you know colors mixing, you know having gradients, having you know airbrush looks. I mean, so, some 
a very few comics did that, like sort of yeah, fully yeah. rendered colors like that. And the ones who did it, they knew what they were doing. Um, it was only one. Right, exactly. Um, I think Akira was the first book I saw that had actual computer coloring in it. And it was really well done because the guy who was doing the coloring um, knew, what, knew what he was doing. But yeah. once the 90s came, went to full swing, everyone, their grandmother, you know, tried to do computer coloring. And right. I'd say 50% of it was garbage. They didn't know what they were doing. Yeah, it was like Steve Olaf was the one who did the Akira yeah. book. And Thank you. He, Thank yeah. you. Yeah, Steve Olaf. And he, he did a lot of the, uh, the really good, like, 90s. I think he did Spawn. I think he was... I think. Yes, he did. Yep. Okay, yeah. The first issues of Spawn were really actually cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So... And yeah, that's why I probably I realized that, you know... Colors. They probably... But they could afford it. <laughs> that's why. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know? Um, and I, I think that's why... I realized that colorists, you know, I always thought of coloring as like, you know, you just, you just you know, fill in the blank. It's like, you know, it's like coloring a coloring book. But uh, I think the 90s was what convinced me that coloring, mm. coloring comic books is an actual skill. Yeah, that um, is a really underrated profession in the comics industry, huh? It's it really is, underappreciated. It's, a, it's one part of, of illustration that I, I dislike the most because it's so hard. Um, yeah. You, you know, can really make or break someone's art. Easily. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I've seen. I I, one thing. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Matt. I was gonna say that's one thing. Like, um, because um, I, it's funny as I started uh my professional comics debut was coloring, like mm-hmm. digital coloring, and uh, my brother as well, and of course my brother's coloring agenda. But, but we started yeah. doing that, and we realized like our first book that we're coloring, it ended up being way too dark. Like we didn't do a lot of mm-hmm. rendering, but the colors, yeah. like we like for nighttime, we would go like darker. And then when it printed, it just looked like really dark. You could barely see the line work at some pages. Yeah. And I remember that yeah. stuck with me. I was like, oh, that is horrible. And then I looked mm-hmm. at the old 80s comics and some of the 90s. And when they would draw like a night scene, the colors looked mm-hmm. like night, but they weren't really dark. They were like using light blues light purples like really right. light colors exactly but it looked like yeah. time and, and the mm-hmm. artwork shown through the line art yes yes yeah um i mean you have to you have to know about color theory you have to know what what colors com- complement the colors next to them it, i mean it takes it takes quite a bit to to be a good colorist in addition to knowing all the little tricks like the glows and everything um yeah. just basic color theory i mean you have to know it and so. basic lighting theory sometimes yeah, yeah. Yes. Um, real yep, quick, man. Jacob, I am looking at my yeah. Facebook. Um, you have not sent me any video. Um, I have been looking for it. I he, he's not sending you sixty videos, is he? No, he sent me a drawing right that he wanted me to show. Um oh. the problem is, is I don't see it anywhere. So um if you could uh message me on Twitter, I'll give you my email. Uh so sorry, sorry to interrupt. I'm just uh really confused it better not be a video of him laying next to a campfire shirtless with barry white playing in the background <laughs> while he holds a rose dear I'm lord kidding. because that video is only for me that jacob was, jacob that was um uh, that was very like specific that, you know. that, that's why that's why oh my goodness booster i am really terrified of you sometimes man hmm? just how specific you get with these videos that you keep having in your collection why yeah. do you remember it at all I remember because I watched them multiple times. <laughs> I feel like I'm being trolled. I feel like that's what's happening. He's, he's trolling me. Cause, um, but no, uh, real quick, we do want to show our last artist. Uh, Eric, I don't think your piece is actually showing up on the stream, which is a no. shame because it's a beautiful piece. All right. Yeah, sorry. I'm on my my phone and sometimes the video cuts out hmm. but uh it's showing on my end is it coming through now yeah yes, yes, yes. okay all right cool yeah so i'm all done so it's it's uh it's ready to go i'm Yay. so excited oh i nice. have the red lantern cat yes Ooh. it is a pop cat it was actually okay so what happened was we were trolling gary shipman and we uh, got him to draw a Pope cat. And then Paul Hassett, who is from the uh, Facebook group, uh, mm-hmm. loves cats. So he, uh, he asked for a Pope cat uh, chippy. 
which um, is what we are. If you guys don't know, Titans, everybody in Titan Squad is getting their own chibi, and we're going to make a giant poster with it, kind of like the DC intro, and it's going to be really, uh, really cool. Um, but he turned it into Dexstar, and now I have a boom cat. <laughs> so cool. That would be. Nice. Um, it all started because we were messing with Gary, because Gary's one of the people to mess with. <laughs> oh, okay. Gary's a bully. bully. She bullies poor Gary. I, I, I really do, but it's it's okay because it's Gary, and I don't think he really cares as long as I keep sending him money. <laughs> <laughs> well, Gary cries himself to sleep every night. Yes, every Gary. night. Yes. It's every, wipes every, the tears with profile's money. Go. Why do I sell my throat for this? Why? He 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 uh, wipes his tears with Starfire money. Um, Jesus, mm. takes fifty dollar bills. This Terrible. this is horrible. Light it on fire. Go ahead, delete to evidence. Okay, so this is the video sent at that was sent to me. It's of Robot Man from Doom Patrol. That is very oh. Oh. Jacob. I know you're super excited to show this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sit and send it to the end because I already know what this piece looks like. Uh, I'll go ahead and copy the link so you guys can watch this when you would like. I'll post it in. Yeah. Sub to Gary. Oh, Pope Raven, I swear to God, if it's if you've linked another person, you linked good job for us. Good job. Good job, Raven. You never, you never <laughs> Um, <clears throat> no, a uh, funny story with Manny. Uh, Manny, am I the person that introduced you to Eric? No. No. <laughs> you know why? No. My, my poor little heart. I was so excited. You, 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 what, you, you, what I miss? Uh, <laughs> I don't think you invite you in, introduce me to him. Four years ago. Oh, really? Really? You put some on I my thought, screen. I thought I did something impressive. <laughs> oh, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Pope. Yeah. I, was so, I was so prepared. I was and then so you proud of myself. Out. And then Manny was like, no, you don't get that, Pope. You don't get to do that. Not when I bought <laughs> original artwork from him five, four years ago. <laughs> so cool. Yeah. No, I, I just found out that I apparently I'm a Jim, Jim Link fan. That's his name, correct? Yeah. Yes. Jim Lee? Yes. Every, yes. Everyone is a Jim Lee fan. I, I did not know I was until recently. So thank you, Joseph, uh, for telling me that I know. <laughs> Eric. Mm. Eric. Yeah. Do you remember these pieces? Yeah. Yep, yep. Yep. I remember it. So yeah, I remember. I got that. Uh, I saw the poster. I'm like, that damn poster of Jean Grey looks very familiar. I think I have it. Every day, <laughs> every time we do it at the altar, I say no cursing. And every time, it's always you. It's always you and Booster, I swear. What? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> you this said the D word. The what word? A good Pope Fire stream. You don't curse on this one. What did I curse? Shameful. <laughs> Excuse me. You we can't repeat it, man. Yeah, hold the body of water. Yeah, water man, from it. So I volunteer with uh, children, <laughs> and it's it's um pretty funny some of the stuff that they'll say, right? Um, like one of mm -hmm. them said some. Okay, they'll say something like butthole, and then they're like, oh, "He said butthole. You're not supposed to say butthole." And you're just like, "Oh my god." <laughs> That's the good part about volunteering with children is I can give them back. I don't have to keep them. Yes, that's true. <laughs> hey, Pope Fire. So I need to go, but thank you guys so much for having me. It was a blast. Thank you. It was fun. Yes. We hey, will Eric. Continue. Thanks for stopping by. Um, yeah, yeah, man. Thank you guys. Yeah, thanks. We will continue to link right. his book. We want to get him at least two more backers, guys, because he is so close to getting funded. Yeah. Everybody back at uh, Eric Neal Cosby's already book. This stream. Oh, sweet. Awesome. I think one of them may have been me. 
<laughs> I believe uh, one more is a hat, no hat reveal. Oh god. Yes, one more is a hat reveal. I think I think that's what it is, isn't it? Yeah, even yeah. if you She said three. Yeah, mm. even if it's just one more dollar, I think. Huh. Oh god. Oh. Don't do that. <laughs> no, I know Booster's thinking it. Hmm. Cool. Well, thank you guys again. Good night, everybody. If hey, you guys good night, Eric. Uh, good night. Take care. I All have right. backed Eric at the seventy-five dollar mark, uh, which gets you an original sketch on your cover. So that's the one I'm gonna recommend. But if you guys uh, do need help affording the book, um, we did add Eric's book as well as agenda on uh, Comic Titans fundraisers page. So if you want to get either book and you just can't fund it right now, we can help you get it. Um, so just message the page. I'll send you a form to fill out. Uh, everything on that form is only seen between two people. Um, we do have people that will look over um, to see if, uh, but but none of the people look at your name or your address or anything like that. The only people that see it are me and Eric. Um, and that information stays private and we don't share it. We just want to help you get the books to you. So if you cannot financially afford either right now and you want to support them, uh, please head over to Comics Times Fundraiser on Facebook or message me on Twitter because I set up the program to help you help the community get books that they want in their hands. And I want to mm -hmm. thank everybody that has helped us with this program, especially the people on the uh, panel, as well as the people that um, kind of helped me with my typing because uh, one of the biggest struggles for setting up a program is uh, Pope Fire doesn't type very well. So I had to have a handful of people to check my uh, grammar. <laughs> Uh, uh. Okay, what? It's because Starfire is a terrible person and a st stinking alien. Wow, you guys are mean. Dang. <laughs> yes, the joys of having a uh, <clears throat> mostly Raven fan base. They always mm -hmm. have to trash on my favorite character. Mm -hmm. Now, um, we are almost 30 minutes from closing, so what I am going to do is... Um, I'm going to ask Matt, uh, what initially drew you to James? If, if you don't mind me asking. Um, yeah, just uh, when I first met him, um, just talking with him, he's, he's, um, he's pretty, like I said, he's pretty laid back, which is in his uh, attitude about things is, is pretty similar to mine. Um, he's um, pretty even tempered. Um, like he says, he's, he's quiet, but he'll talk to anybody. And when we're talking, uh, we just started talking about storytelling and comics and we became friends on Facebook and we started talking about, you know, I, I would meet up with him at certain events in the local area of San Diego and we started talking and I showed him my work and he said, yeah, we should do something sometime. And I said, yeah, you know, and so it was like a little while before um, he uh, told me about a book he was thinking of, uh, Agenda. And so then he told me the concept of it and I said, that sounds cool. And and it took a little too long to kind of get it going. Mm -hmm. I wish, you know, especially now, I wish I would have got going on it. But, you know, things came up, um, you know, I had to pay the bills. And this book wouldn't pay money up front, but I knew it right. was worth doing. So um, I was doing some projects, you know, in between that kind of took up a lot of time. And finally, by the time I got working on the book, it was like, uh, you know, about a year and a half already passed. And, um, yeah, I, I, the whole time I was working on character designs doing promo mm. art and um yeah he pretty much launched the kickstarter really quickly but his uh his work though yeah i mean i was familiar with some of his work and i at the time i didn't know it was his and i'm like yeah i i know i could learn a lot from him but yeah i think the kind of person he was is really what kind of drew me to work with him is he's mm. a real stand-up guy you know cool yeah it's always uh, nice when you when you when people you admire end up being worthy of admiration when you meet them oh yeah yeah so I've I've met people who I whose work I really like and it was the exact opposite and yeah I know them. yeah <laughs> yeah I, I will admit Comics Gate uh, some of my favorite creators that I have have met have sort of disappointed me a little bit but yeah. most of the More creators of I have met have been absolutely fantastic and the people on this panel like the people in Titan Squad uh, I I've never met most of them in person and. I do consider most of them my family. I consider a lot of these uh, people in Comicsgate sort of like big brothers. 
I know that uh, mm. I've been called the little sister of Comicscape because I'm annoying and I like to show people my Starfire <laughs> toys. But, um, <laughs> you know, I do, I do consider a lot of the people that we have um, met, even especially on Titans or Titan squads and at the authors as family. I, I know that I see uh, mm. Manny sort of like an uncle to me and Tundaro sort of like my big brother that likes to mess with me. Um, yeah. Mm. So it is very interesting to see how you can get these connections from people and you, you don't even really have to come face to face with them anymore. And I, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm really appreciative for everybody that I do know. And my, my heart really does go out to you, Matt. And I, I really nice. wish that I could do more um, to help. And, and I know that a lot of people on this panel feel the exact same way. Mm. Thanks. I, I really appreciate it. Cause like you said about family, like I said, James, to me, it felt like family. And when he passed, I mean, it was so heavy. I just felt like, yeah, it felt like a family member just passed away. And um, yeah, it was even like now it's these past few days, it's been really, you know, like you could just feel the loss, a sense of loss, but um, at the same time, I want to, you know, handle things correctly. And I got to uh, tell people about the book and the, the status right. and everything. But yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, it's that we got so close, you know, being able to, talk and email and meet meet up and yeah it's just it was a blessing that i got to actually meet him and actually live in the same city where we got to meet up and have dinner and, and i think yeah. that really contributed but even people i haven't met in person like you were saying online um like i've met mike miller online but i talked to him you know video stream or calling him and talk with him and he'll call and it's like mm -hmm. yeah you just get to know people just through youtube or message it's the messenger and and, uh, yeah it's it's yeah it, it just has a feeling of family it does this community yeah, i am very grateful for mike because he has done a lot to help me as well mm -hmm. cool cool yeah so yeah mike, I'm not, I, I wasn't sure guy. like who knows who in this group like i know you guys you know about all those comic skate guys but mm -hmm. it's cool to hear that they interact with you guys a lot of them you know Oh, yeah, yeah. I've bought some pieces for Mike. I actually uh, uh, used to moderate for him. I don't anymore. It was taking up too much time. Uh, but I know Jiminy moderates for him. Yeah. So. Yep. I yeah. still moderate. <laughs> I own, I own um, Mike's Starfire, actually. Oh. Huh. Yeah, from uh, the Drawn and Quartered they did. I actually yeah. own three. All right, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Cool. Yeah, I own Gary's Arts and Mike's. Uh, Sierra Whitsky stole Eric's because I was going to buy Eric's and then uh, she was, or Sierra was like, oh, I already got that one. I'm like, oh, Sierra, you <laughs> <laughs> Sniped it from you. Yeah, sniped it right from me. So I, I bought Mike's. <laughs> I bought Mike's as well. Uh, I have a Lone Star Starfire that actually came in yesterday. Cool. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah, why don't you show it off with your hat on reveling? We have not reached the part yet. Do I it will... anyway. No. <laughs> I I am a woman of my word. I am not going to take the hat revel off until Eric gets one more backer. <laughs> the hell you want to see that here? The art thief. <laughs> I will be right back. I have to run to the bathroom. I didn't go before the stream. So I'll be right back. <laughs> Good job. Oh boy. Well, there you Thanks go. Sure. Everyone, the whole she's gonna go. So you... She's gonna glue her hat to her head so she can't take it off. That's mm -hmm. what she's really doing. There you go, everybody. Uh, Pope Fire is taking a tinkle. There's an image for you all. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Booster. Somewhere, she, somewhere, she's, so, somewhere she's yelling gross at that. Gross. Why would you say that? She says gross if I say the word boobs. <laughs> she's, she's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, boy. Alright, we, we have to clean up some of the dead air, boys, or else uh, we're going to get in trouble. Yeah, uh -oh. yeah. Have you guys seen Shudam yet? No, I haven't. No one will go watch it with me. Oh, I, I, I don't. I don't have I friends in real life. It was... It was... I, I laughed at it. It was funny. Oh, I laughed. You know what? I I wanted to like it, 
but it came across to me as like, what if one of the three Stooges got superpowers? Yeah, no, I I, I can agree with that fully. Again, yeah. I, when I go to see a superhero movie, I can't sit there and compare it to a comic book. I, I, not yeah. just because I don't always read all their comics, it's, but it's the same thing. Like, I understand there are limitations, and then there's the and their adaptation is always going to be different than the comic. Right. Yeah. You can't. Yeah. You can't have the Hulk. Oh, I took a step and crushed the continent, but you can do it in yeah. a comic. Mm-hmm, right. Yeah. 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 But you take the Hulk and you put him against Loki and have him smack him on the ground and say "Puny God." You're like. I love this scene. <laughs> but no, I, I, I've seen it with a couple of friends and we were all, and I'm, I'm going to say spoilers, but it's been out for two weeks. So we were all debating who, which sin is, which, which sin is, which we're like, no, that one has to be pride. No, that one has to be pride. Which one is pride? Tell that's, us. That's Paul. That's Paul. Is it the one with the tentacles? I'm not yeah. sure. I, I, I couldn't tell. I mean, they all kind of looked the same. Yeah. I mean, except Glut- Gluttony was big and fat. That was the only one who really stood out. Gluttony was big and fat, um, had the mouth all the way to the belly button. Greed was the one with the forearms. Yeah. Okay. And one that had tentacle arms, we said, was Lust. Okay. Or... Oh, tentacle ring. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. The one with the <laughs> mouth, we we couldn't figure out what the one with the mouth was. That was Gluttony, wasn't it? No, the like the like snake tongue, like long tongue. Oh, oh okay, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I we no said idea. that one was lust too. Mm-hmm. We said that, it, and we we said that one was either lust or sloth, and we kept debating over which one the guy with the wings was. Was was he pride or was he wrath? Hmm. Yeah. I w- honestly wish that they color coded them or something. They did it for the superheroes. At least, if you're gonna make them Power Rangers, at least color. Code the dang thing so we can sit there. Okay, I don't understand what this is. Seriously, yeah, making them all so yeah, yeah. I mean, it 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 could have been a really good movie. I and I I was hoping that they would have a nice balance of humor with serious sort of action. Um, but it was it was way is way too goofy. I mean, if, if I were ten, I would have loved it. But it was a movie that seemed to be made for like twelve kids 12 and under instead of yeah. a movie made for adults that kids would also like yeah. like like aquaman i thought that was a great movie it, it had the yeah, right amount fun. of humor but it had yeah, yeah it, it and it surprised fun. me because i i was expecting it to be like kind of dopey but um aquaman was a good movie surprisingly uh shazam to me it was it was way too way too <laughs> goofy it was too um, pretty. They, I mean, I get it. He's a child in an adult's body, but he was what? Fi- he was fifteen there, and they're like, "Oh, oh, beer!" I'm like, "Really?" Yeah, yeah. It was really. I know it, you know it, that don't care. Yeah, it, it, it to me it seemed like whenever he turned into uh, Captain Marvel, his IQ dropped like thirty points. I mean, it felt like Billy <laughs> Batson was smart, and Shazam he was, was the man child. He was. That that's the thing. It was like he was dumber as Captain Marvel than he was as Billy Batson. And apparently, to me, the that's not wisdom that's of not... Solomon is a little too overrated. <laughs> yeah, yeah, is he more like the wisdom of uh, I don't know Solomon um, when he's going through dementia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, it but it, it, as a um, movie, I enjoyed it. it was... Yeah, yeah. I, I just, I, yeah, I, I, it's one of those things. Like, I, I, I got more wrapped up in like which one was which. We all figured out that oh, Envy's the one that's still stuck in him because because we didn't see a midget come out. Oh, okay. and then we're all mm-hmm. like, and then we're all like, you know what? Uh, Full Metal Alchemist did better with the sins. At least we understood which one was which right when we were looking at them. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. No, no. So, and I wasn't, and, and the, another thing that kind of annoyed, again, I, spoilers. Um, oh, uh, kind of annoyed oh, too much. The whole thing was, the, my. has reached his amount. Thank you, guys. Oh, yay. Take off your hat. Yes, as you can clearly see, I am not bald. Okay, no, that's uh, bending the rules. Take your hat off. So I told I you. I told bald. you. <laughs> Take your hat and your wig off. No, no, you <laughs> bent the rules. This is right. my actual hair. Thank you very much. 
Star, Lies. Hey, cough, it's Lies. Me. <laughs> Star, stop this. Stop your lies. No, this stop. is my real hair. I've always had pink hair. I can, Take off I that can hat. literally see the oh, hair oh, 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 under the wig. See? See? No hat. Oh, my God. Take it off. Take the Take wig off. off. What? What? Wait. This is my hair. Take You're it off. Blocking your eyes so you can't <laughs> see the screen. I can see She's bald. quite well. She's bald. Baldness. Baldness. She looks exactly like my picture, Lex Luthor. She stole forty this cakes. Don't listen to her. Oh, I look. This is my hair. <laughs> she is Lex Luthor. She stole forty cakes. <laughs> she has hair, but she stole forty cakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Close to Starfire. My hair. I don't know what you guys are so upset about. <laughs> We're just more worried that it took you that long to go chase it. Took me that long to do what? To go hair. take off your hat. Oh. <laughs> no, no, I had to find the wig. The audience is turning <laughs> on you. I have hair. There it is. I am not bald. Do you see? It? Hooray. Do you see it? Hooray. I see skin. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> right there. <laughs> I see where your hair parts where it's natural for human hair not to be. But yes, I have hair. I am Hooray. Not old, so <laughs> forget your rumors, Jacob, you dirty, dirty jerk. Oh, you wanted to say it. <laughs> I did. Star's I about did. to break I the rules. Myself because I'm not you. I'm not a oh. jerk. No, you must let your head I down. I have not cursed no. at all this whole time. I actually How have done a you? where I let my hair down. Um, not a lot of people showed up to it, actually. <laughs> we all prefer the hat. You all prefer the hat? No, let Let's it go. down. Uh, now I'm self-conscious. Rapunzel. No. <laughs> actually, I have way too much hair. It's actually it actually goes. People think I have like a dyke haircut. I swear I don't. I just put my hair out. You have to prove it. I have to prove it. No. Yeah. It's like oh, it's already messed up in the bun. Because <laughs> I took the hat off and it like messed up the bun. But no, it it actually does go pretty long. I actually have it to where it's like short in the front and then like no long in the front and then short it shorter shorter in the back. But it's still pretty long. Bun bun bun. I'm very self conscious now. Thank you. Uh, can I turn my camera off now? That, that's, no. Yeah. That's, You're not allowed to. <laughs> that's this was the, no, this was the arrangement. No, it's no okay. she says she show it. And she, she showed it. <laughs> it's fair. If we get Eric 50 backers, I will actually shave my head and I will call myself Booster. <laughs> oh, don't do it. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Don't get, no, we have to me. stop at 49 just to get Booster angry. <laughs> just to get Booster angry. <laughs> Oh, you! Every, you hear, as soon as I say, I'll shave my head at fifty uh, at uh, fifty backers. <laughs> People start backing. <laughs> 40, yeah, exactly. Forty-seven more have joined. <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> oh God! So, Star, you seen Sajam, right? Yeah, I loved it. Could you tell which sin the monsters were? Uh no no I could not actually that was that actually uh, me a little bit I'm not, see, I'm not I'm not the only one that thought they should have just been color coded you color coded Shazams we had the Power Rangers it was amazing is it uh yeah it looks is a uh, is the Rock in mm -hmm. uh Dwayne Johnson's no he's not no he's not he's not that, that, and that, that's what I was going to say. I mean, uh, I didn't I didn't understand why Savannah had the same powers as Captain Marvel. Which one? Huh. Savannah, Savannah the, the villain in the, in the, in the movie. Oh. Why do you have the same powers as Captain Marvel? They didn't come from the I same source. Uh, I just, I thought like he was supposed to be their champion, so I took that as that's why he has the same powers, except they admitted that his powers were significant, significantly weaker. They, hmm. they seem strong enough to put him on his butt. but well, they, um... <laughs> well, they explained it by saying, once he figures out how to use his powers, you're toast. So you need to stop him before he knows how, you know? Yeah, but it kind of, um, it kind of diluted the whole prospect of uh, Black Adam because Shazam. it's just like he's... <laughs> And I guess in the next movie, he's going to be fighting with someone with the same powers as Savannah had. It's right. going to seem 
redundant. Well, Seeing him what talking about me was that he actually didn't use those powers. Like on the big fight, he actually didn't use those. If you pay attention to it, um, yeah, he did not use lightning that much after he blew up the phone, which or yeah. well, the, well, blew up the, the tire. Yes, but. spoilers. I'm so sorry. He blew yeah. up the phone. I love you. I said spoilers like ten minutes ago. <laughs> well, um, he kind of blew up a bus. <laughs> Lightning with my hands. Lightning with my hands. I love that one. <laughs> but no, um, actually, uh, let me see if I can angle this without messing anything up. Uh, I wanted to show that I got your pieces. They're up there because I was running out of room. Oh my god. The now what do you use to put them on the wall? Like um, I put them in a cover. Uh, and then I use these uh, like sticky wall things. Um, she uses liquid nails. Yes, right. exactly. I use nails on all my arts. No, <laughs> liquid um, nail. Actually, I need to get another roll of it. It's a uh, wall tape. It, it's actually, mm. I think I've only had one piece fall down, and it was because I used too small of a, of a piece of tape. Mm. Use super glue. That'll stick. No, 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 no. Not on my walls. No. I don't rent. Really, I don't rent <laughs> this house. Um... <laughs> yeah, I got all these notifications on YouTube. Oh, and I unplugged my mouse. I was trying to figure out why my mouse wasn't working. Uh, mm. We do have 20 minutes left, and I know with how long it takes me uh, to talk about some of these pieces, Who I'm going to go ahead. Nope. Next piece. Hmm? What? Oh. I, don't know. I, was I am going back. to... Uh, introduce each artist artist piece and ask them what inspired them to pick that character and also ask them how they got into uh, James's um, not only his comics but some of his other works as well and I'm going to start with Adrian and of course Adrian can't speak so um, <sighs> probably not smart to start with him actually <laughs> Adrian how you doing buddy he picked her because she looked cool. I do want to say that every week Adrian gets on here and he makes a better piece every week. I I really do enjoy watching him improve every week, and it's mm. it's just so nice. Um, and I know you can't speak or say anything right now, Adrian, so that's why I'm trying to embarrass you right now. Uh, he's he can't defend <laughs> himself. So <laughs> if I say something like, I don't know, Adrian likes it when he... Uh, sprinkles when he tinkles, he can't say anything. So he can't defend himself at all. Mm. Next. <laughs> not, not yet. Man. Manny. How about you, Manny? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Who are you drawing and why did you choose them? Well, like I said, I mean, I Google searched and I saw this machine queen and I thought it was pretty cool looking. Okay, can I cool. ask something real quick, Matt? What are her powers? Because that is so cool. Oh, uh, her powers is uh, she can create uh, tech that's beyond like anything that we have today. She has the ability mm. to do, do that. That, and she also controls these these robots. And I think one of the pages she controls. I don't know if we've shown it, but she controls these little tiny micro like drones that look like kind of like mm. wasps, but uh. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, also on the cover of um, um, Dave Dorman did the cover, one of the alternative covers for us. He accidentally he put in um, uh, I just forgot her name, uh, Vortex, and but he accidentally he thought she was Machine Queen because you know he doesn't know the whole story, so he put in the little drones. You can kind of see them a little bit, oh, but yeah, he puts in the drones. But uh, yeah, her powers though, she can. Uh, like I said, create. She owns a giant corporation that uh, produces tech, like robots and stuff like that. In the first story, and she's um, she starts uh, infiltrating a Chinese company that was going to do business with her, but she finds out that they were stealing her, stealing her technology. And then her partner mm -hmm. is the girl on the cover, which uh, Adrian is drawing, is um, Vortex, and she can uh, teleport, use uh, open up like a transdimensional portals, like. Go, go from uh, place to place. Cool. Neat. And they've known each other since uh, school, I guess, college. Mm -hmm. I love this design. 
Thanks. Good job, Manny. This you like this looks really cool as well. But holy heck, she looks like um I can definitely tell like the anime influence because I'm looking at it. And I'm like, this looks like an anime character. You know, like it, like it took inspiration from something from an anime. I don't watch enough anime to tell you like the name of what what I because I swear like the visor reminds me of an anime. I just don't know what anime. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't about to tackle the visor, so I said, I'll just draw her without uh, the Battle of the Planets, Dragon Ball Z with uh, the uh, Gohan guy, Super Sa the Great Saiyan. Oh, uh, the uh, Great yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> He's just the I other went one. Through, uh, gonna... through, through the Machine Queen design process. Gunn and Lagan. More designs Gunn of her. Like, I went through like dozens of designs. I mean, stuff that mm -hmm. was not even anywhere near what it is now. And uh, I, at first, I was basically almost drawing her in an Iron Man type of outfit where she had an armored outfit. And he's like, no, he didn't want armor. He wanted just a bodysuit like type of thing because she's more, you know, it's a suit that helps right. her control these drones, these robots. And then I wanted her to look like a queen. So I, I wanted the visor. James wanted the visor. But I wanted her to have, like, since it's machine queen, I wanted her to have something that looked like a crown. So I was trying to think of designs that could play around like a crown. And then mm -hmm. in my mind, I started thinking like, well, like Alien Queen, remember from Aliens? It has that right. type of oh. crown look, so it kind of goes mm. fast. Oh, right, yeah. But, it's, so I try, but I try to give it a crown look, so it's broken up into separate pieces, so it's like, you know, a little crown mm. uh, feel to it. But, cool. yeah, it's just a mixture of things that I'm playing around with. But, yeah, I definitely want to give her that queen really? feel, so that was, like, the last thing I added. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. And I like the little uh, energy ball because it reminds cool. me of something from a character that I like, but we won't name names. <laughs> <laughs> Third, your uh, um, Voltron Vex Luther is here. Hi. Yes. <laughs> yes. Do you want this one? Oh, no, please don't. But, okay. Please don't. Okay. Yeah, I do owe you a thank you. You actually did my Patreon video ending, and I, I absolutely adore that. Yeah. Okay, but where's his nose? Yes, uh, where is his nose? I don't know. I can't draw noses. Or you hands. Mean, I don't <laughs> know. Well, you can do what they did with Teen Titans, and what they did with Beast Boy was they just gave him, like, two lines for a nose. Like Voldemort. Oh one second. I, I can do this. I can do it. I did it. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> it's Voldemort. I'm, it's I'm Voldemort. proud of you. It's Voldemort if he lived in the world where he had kids. No, I do. I, I, with the nose aside, this piece actually is really good. Um, with, with the nose aside, um, I, I do it enjoy show up when I scan it, okay? It <laughs> <laughs> no, um, and I think you are improving as well, because um, I know you get a little uh, a little worried that you don't always <laughs> know what you're doing, and I do want you to know that you are definitely improving, and I do appreciate you coming on here every Saturday. Um, and I, I do like this piece. Uh, I just think he needs a nose. <laughs> I'm Looks good. I like All it. All right. <laughs> Jimity. Yeah. Um, Fire so always question. said it is something. Somebody needs a nose. Somebody needs pants. Somebody needs uh, to add Starfire. I don't know. Always like, needs that, like, why don't we do that more often? Why Why is it Josh is the only one that will add a Starfire? Everybody else is just like, oh, I guess I'll draw what I want. And no, Josh is like, oh, I'll put a Starfire on there. Josh, Josh knows how to make me happy. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh no, that was yeah, a, that booster. I, I do owe Jimmy a thank you because he was on a show mm. and he talked me up very, very well. You actually got me like six new subs, so thank you. Oh really? Okay. Oh, because I was I was trying to figure out. I was like, wait, why do I have new subs? I haven't done a video in a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So thank you. That was a really sure, nice. Um, I'm sure I've gotten subs from being on your your stream, so. No oh problem. god, probably probably all of Joshua's alternate accounts. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter. A sub's a sub. I don't care. 
<laughs> uh, would you like to talk about your piece? Uh, yeah, this is a uh, Nemesis, a uh, second <laughs> version that James Hudnall um, created for Alpha Flight. Uh, and I picked her because uh, she's cool looking. And uh, I liked her sort of shtick of cutting things up with her nano sword. So, um, you know, it's a cool, cool look for a character. And she has, I like, I like the fact that she, there's a lot of spot, a lot of spotted blacks on her. So, um, yeah, it's easy to, uh, easier to, uh, to render. <laughs> cool. Cool. Yep. 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 Yeah. It's a really, really That's my cool. story. Yeah. Oh, thanks. I like the mask on her as well. And and the, the little collar, I think that's really cool. <laughs> the little what? The little uh, collar, like the Ra Rajal Ghoul collar. I like those. Oh, oh, right. Yeah. 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 I don't know if I said yeah. that right. The 60s Dracula cape collar. Exactly. It's always in style. Uh, <laughs> All right. I'm amazing, going to though. give um, the last few minutes of the stream to Matt. Um, so Matt, if you would like to talk about your piece or add anything um, to, um, yeah. to what you wanted to say, I'm, the floor is yours. Yeah, this is just uh, James's comic, um, The Psycho. And uh, the main character ah, is, um, okay. yeah, I think his name is Riley. Uh, I think it's John Riley. I have to double check. But, uh, but yeah, he's a CIA agent turned uh, psycho or superhero. I guess it's not a superhero, super powered. Um, I like honestly be honest. I have not yet read the book. I just bought the actual series. Um, and mm -hmm. uh, I was gonna. It's a three book series from DC, but you can get it at Image uh, as a mm -hmm. graphic novel. And, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, yeah, it was cool. I mean, James, he has a, a unique take on uh, superheroes, um, kind of a different perspective. And and but yeah, this character it just looks cool. He's got like he wears a Hawaiian shirt. And some of the uh -huh. stuff I've seen. Um, let's see if I can find a picture. Now, but is yeah, that a mask or is that or his actual face? Yeah, it's actually a mask that he wears. This is like the uh, see the Psycho book. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that that ugly Hawaiian shirt, but he wears like a lot of these like like pins, like on his jacket. But uh, okay, but yeah, no, he's he wears this mask. It like it adheres to the bottom of his face or the front of his face. It doesn't cover his whole head. Obviously, you can see his hair. Got the right. cool '90s stylish ponytail going, <laughs> but um, but yeah, Dan Brenton's art, man. That's I, as funny as I knew yeah. about Dan Brenton, the artist, before I knew about James, uh, because mm -hmm. you know, I mean, being an artist, you kind of focus on the artist every time you look at a book when you're exactly, when you're younger, yeah. And it's like then yeah. when you start realizing stories like stand out, like how well something is written, you start mm -hmm. looking into the name for the artist. I mean, the writer, and um, right, yeah, so. I knew James's works because of the artist. I mean, I was familiar with the books because of the artist. But when I found out he did, I'm like, you did that? Oh, he did that too? And I just, I kept being surprised yeah. by everything that he did. I'm like, I know that one. And uh, yeah. But yeah. yeah, the character just stands out to me ever since, like, um, I remember at conventions, they had some psycho buttons where it was like a little skull like face. And uh, mm -hmm. I just remember everything was iconic about that, the way the character looked. And uh, yeah. That just stood out to me, and I figured I'd tell people about it because you never know. Like I said, if it could be picked up into a movie later, um, I don't know. Mm -hmm. If it does, people can remember. Hey, that's Jim. It's a uh, not Jim, but James. Uh, James Hudnall's book. We heard about it on Pope Fire's yeah. channel. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. But yeah. I don't. I don't want to end this stream so sober, but, uh, well, that's not the right word. Uh, somber. 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 Yeah. We know yeah, you don't yeah. like the end stream sober. sober. Yes. Um, but um, I know James is in a better place. I know that he, uh, he was an amazing man. I spoke to him a handful of times, and while I didn't personally know him, I do know that he, from the conversations I had with him, that he was just a, a remarkable man. And um, if you guys haven't already, please back his book agenda and uh, 
will uh, continue to have his fa- friends and family uh, in your prayers. And yes. if you guys haven't already, um, go and find Matt on Twitter and follow him. Um, thank you so much for being on here, Matt. It was a complete honor to have you on here. And um, if you ever need anything, Titan Squad will always be here to help. Thank um, you. No, I, so I really there... appreciate it. Oh, no, I'm just so happy you came on here. I was really nervous about asking. <laughs> oh, no, no, yeah, don't don't ever be nervous. Um, like, I think it's just great that you were honoring James and um, and just remembering him. And uh, like I said, sometimes, I mean, people, yeah, it, I, I just don't want James. I don't James has a body of work as, and the professionals just know. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, you say his name and professionals know, oh, yeah, they either know him or know his work. Yeah. And um, I just right. don't want – I just I'd like people remembering him, and this means a lot to me, too. And I know it means mm-hmm. a lot to him, so I appreciate it. Well, yeah. I definitely know he's not going to be forgotten anytime soon. Um, no, definitely not. But we are getting at the end of the At the Altar, so I want to thank all my uh, panel guests, and I want to say uh, thank you once again to Matt for being on here. And uh, thank you for the chat, for being on here and for supporting us and helping Eric as well. Um, Hope everybody has a fantastic night. Oh, uh, don't forget Shawnee's birthday, guys, is Sunday. So send her a message in Titan Squad wishing her a happy birthday. All right. And we are out.